Finally tonight, more than 2 million Americans need a wheelchair to get around. But few have traveled as far as a wheelchair travel blogger named Corey Lee. Brooke Silva Braga has his story. For Corey Lee, it started with a short cruise to the Bahamas in high school. And that trip it sparked something inside of me that made me want to keep going further. Spinal muscular atrophy type 2 prevented him from ever taking more than a few steps. It couldn't stop him from traveling the world from Australia to Israel, Finland to Iceland. How many countries? Uh, 18 so far. Corey has done it all with his mom Sandy by his side. His dad and I had gotten divorced when he was four years old. It's pretty much been me and him for years. I've just always told him, you know, son, if you can't stand up, stand out. Even as a team, there's no end to the hassles of wheelchair travel. Whoa. So three years ago, Corey started a blog, Curb Free with Corey Lee, with tips to help other wheelchair travelers. Tourism boards and tour operators took notice and started sponsoring adventures that wouldn't have been possible on his mom's salary working at a nursing home. He does things and has done more than I could have ever imagined or wished for him. And there's lots of things he can't do that other children have done. So I'm glad that he's now found a career and a life that he can really inspire others and enjoy for himself. SMA makes Corey a bit weaker every year. I used to be able to lift my arms up, um, and now I can't really do that. So there's urgency to his travels. After we met in New York, Corey was off to South Africa on safari. Plenty of people with fewer obstacles don't leave their hometown. Yeah. Why is it worth it to you? I don't like being stuck in one place, and by me going out, you know, it not only shows other wheelchair users, but it shows, I mean, able-bodied people that are just here in Central Park. He's out here rolling around with us, because I feel like people have this preconceived notion of wheelchair users as, you know, just staying at home, laying in the bed. I want to break that perception. Brooke Silva Braga for CBS News, New York.